and gentlemen, more Star Wars and Disney related drama because one of the cast members from the Acolyte TV show, which will be getting released any day now, made a series of statements, some of which the fan base finds very offensive. I'm going to play one of those clips for you now, and then we will talk about it right after. Come on. Hey. I did get in trouble for this answer <laughs> at Star you Wars got Con. I got, I got heat. Yeah. And in my mind, it's so funny to me because it literally, as a person who's outside and just a fan coming in, that was what was so beautiful and interesting to me. You know, people have been talking to me online about how Darth Vader is such a bad person. It's very clear and it's very well established from those actions. But if you can't look and see the Anakin blowing up the Death Star, possibly killed millions and millions of people. I'm gonna get in trouble for saying this oh. right now. Um, you should just shut up. It's just like, shut up. I but love that you is, should but shut that up. is the beauty of this that story. Clip is getting this actor a lot of heat. And then the show, of course, because as we all know, fans have not been exactly positive about the show to begin with. And this is not helping. Essentially, the biggest issue that a lot of people have here is the claim that he is a fan of Star Wars, while not knowing the difference between between Anakin and Luke Skywalker and thinking that Anakin and Darth Vader are different people. I mean, they're different people in that before Anakin became Darth Vader, he was a different guy until he let the evil take over. But Darth Vader and Anakin are one and the same. And I could understand if this was just like an error because sometimes we say the wrong name when we're thinking about something else, but he said the same thing in another interview, which leads me to believe that he actually believes that either Anakin and Luke are the same person and he just doesn't know the names or he thinks, I, I, I don't, I don't know. It's for me, it's just something that if you claim to be a fan of Star Wars, you should know. I mean, that's like one of the biggest things in the movies. I know what's happening with this show, I don't know what's happening with Disney and Star Wars, but obviously they have been alienating the true Star Wars fans for a long time. And of course there are fans that love what Disney has been doing and right, you know, everyone's entitled to enjoy what they enjoy. But you know, I think people that love the spirit of George Lucas's version of Star Wars, especially the first three movies, people that love the spirit of what George Lucas created are obviously offended by the fact that they think and I believe rightly so that Disney is disrespecting the spirit of what was something incredible that created such a huge, huge fan base. I mean, they bought this franchise and essentially it seems like they are trying to shit all over everything that people loved about Star Wars. And it is, it is very frustrating. And I know that a lot of people will say, well, you know, just let it go. It's just a show. It's not that serious. But obviously the fan base thinks a bit more deeply about Star Wars. This is an escape for a lot of people. This is a big deal for a lot of people. And to kind of disrespect it while disrespecting the fans, it shows a great disregard for what was created here. And uh, it's very frustrating. I personally, I'm over everything that Disney has been doing. I keep keeping my fingers crossed, hoping that something, something will turn out great. And they had that with The Mandalorian, but then, then they didn't. And I really don't know if this is ever going to turn into what fans hope it's going to turn into, but as long as the people who are in charge are in charge, I don't think that we're ever going to get that. I think that they're going to continue to push whatever agenda they're pushing until, as far as they're concerned, people buy what they're selling. And I don't know that that's going to happen, but we'll see. Anyways, The Acolyte Show is coming. Let's see what happens on the 4th of June when we watch the first episode. I don't know if they're releasing more than one episode, but let's see. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think of what's going on with The Acolyte and Star Wars? Please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time to listen to me talk. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and please come back and watch some more of my videos. Have a lovely rest of your day. Mwah.